Americans, we are staying on top of that breaking news. It's coming from Prince George's County. It could impact your morning commute. A hit and run crash that left two people dead. Now let's go ahead and check in with News Force Joseph Olmo. He is live along Landover Road in Cheverly with the latest there. Joseph, what have you seen? I, I, I'm seeing, Jimmy, a really, really bad crash here along Landover Road. I'm going to direct your attention over to the right here where you can see uh, investigators are still working on putting the pieces together to figure out what exactly happened here. What we can tell you is this. At about 2.35 this morning, officers responded here. This is Landover Road and 63rd place here in Chevrolet. They have this crash between these two cars. Look like they T-boned here. You can definitely see, guys, those both of those vehicles are totaled. It looks like one of them even has some fire damage to it. A driver and a passenger of one of those cars was pronounced dead on scene, like you two just mentioned moments ago. And unfortunately, we're learning the driver of that second vehicle did not remain on the scene. That is why we are calling this a hit and run right now, uh, as investigators, again, still work to figure out what exactly happened here. You know, guys, this is a uh, kind of this a busy road, but it runs through a neighborhood. There's a couple of houses that have a direct site to this crash here, so it'll be interesting to see if you know any of the neighbors here have any home surveillance video or any ring doorstep video uh, showing exactly what happened. But for right now, what we can tell you is that this is a hit and run. Two people, a driver and a passenger, are dead, and the driver of the other vehicle did not remain on the scene here. If you do use Landover Road here in Chevrolet, uh, give yourself some extra time because uh, headed into Chevrolet, there is uh, lane availability, but headed out of Chevrolet towards Route 50, the lanes are closed right now. So if you use this area to get to and from work every morning, uh, check GPS before you leave the house, guys. All right, Joseph Olmo reporting from Prince George's County. Thank you, Joseph. All right, let's go ahead here at 6 o'clock and see the workarounds and other traffic issues. Let's check in with WTOP's Rita Kessler. Good morning. Good morning, Jimmy. As you saw from Joseph's report, southbound 202 Landover Road remains closed at 63rd place for that ongoing police and crash investigation. Expect to be under police direction, but the northbound lanes are open and moving for now.